I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on limits and discontinuity. Thanks to my student for sharing the question. The question here is which of the following function f has removable discontinuity at x equals to a? If the discontinuity is removable, find g that is continuous in the domain of real number where x is not equal to a. So that's the question for you. And the two functions to analyze are f of x equals to x to the power of 4 minus 1 divided by x minus 1, where a is equals to 1. The other one is g of x equals to absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, where a is equals to 2. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, when we are talking about removable discontinuities, here's a small note for it, and that is we are looking for a hole. If it, there is a hole, it means it is removable discontinuity, right? And when will you have a hole? You'll have a hole when there is a common factor in numerator. and denominator right so that will lead to whole so what we need to do here is first let us substitute one in the equation if i write one here so what is f of one if i write one here i get one minus one over one minus one which is zero over zero so that means there is a discontinuity at this point right so there is that means it is a discontinuous function so that is clear so there is a discontinuity now, whether it is removable or not, that we can find after factoring. So let us factor. So we have f of x equals to x to the power of 4 minus 1, which could be factored as x squared minus 1 times x plus 1. I mean, x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 1, right? Now, this could be written as x squared could further be factored as x plus 1 times x minus 1 and then we already have here x squared plus 1 is it okay divide by x minus 1 now as you can see x minus 1 x minus 1 cancel and so we are left with this as equals to x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 so that is the function f of x where we should write that x is not equal to 1 correct okay? since we cancel we have removed that common factor now this really means that there is a hole at x equals to 1 because they've cancelled out do you see that and now we have to provide the function which is continuous in this domain but x not equal to a that means x not equal to 1 so that function for us is this function so we can write g of x as equals to x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 where of course x is not equal to 1 correct so that answers the question and here since it is a whole we call this as a removable discontinuity i hope this process is very very clear right okay now let me do the second part of this question right I've taken away that space to a large extent but then I think we can make it so what we have here is g of x equals to absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 now how is absolute value defined okay let me define it here absolute value of x minus 2 could be written as x minus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 2 right and is equal to negative of x minus 2 when x is less than 2 that is how we define this function right so so I could write g of x given here as equal to a combination of two pieces one when x is greater than or equal to 2 I could write this as x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 right replacing absolute value with this 
where x is greater than or equal to 2 and then this could be written as minus of x minus 2 over x minus 2 where x is less than 2. Clearly this could be written as g of x equals to this is positive 1 and this is negative 1 when x is greater than or equal to 2 and when x is less than 2. Do you see that? So if you sketch this function what do you get? So if you sketch this function what you really get here is let me push this page a bit here you get when we're talking about let's say this is the point 2 right at this point if it is greater than 2 on this side then the function is 1 right so kind of like this on the other hand if you're on the left side it is minus 1 do you see that so it is either plus 1 or minus 1 and the type of discontinuity here is a jump discontinuity right so this is your function let me write g of x so this discontinuity is jump discontinuity now this discontinuity cannot be filled in if you want to really fill in you will enter something which will fail the vertical line test right so so in this case it is not a re removable function right so this is jump discontinuity so this one is removable right And this one is not removable discontinuity. I hope that's clear because it is jump discontinuity. Another type of discontinuity which leads to non-removable discontinuity is infinite discontinuity which you can have in function like 1 over x. Is that clear to you? Right. So that is how we could actually solve these questions clearly. If we are looking for a removable discontinuity, we are looking for a hole at that point, right? So if there is a hole, it can be filled in and therefore we have this concept of removable discontinuity. If there are other two types of discontinuities which include jump or infinite discontinuity, then the function will not be having removable discontinuity. I hope the concept is clear to you. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions and if you like, you can like my video.